What's going on guys, so today I'm going to be doing another review on another pair of Nike Mercurial Vapor 13s. I did the previous Mercurial 12s and the Mercurial 11s before. The 11s were the Vapors and the 12s were the Neymars and now I'm onto the 13s because my, 12, my 11s ripped. So if you want to see them, I'll show you them right here. Guys, this is what they look like right now. They're in pretty bad shape. The toes all coming up. The inside of the heel ripped. They're pretty much like goners. I don't have the laces anymore. I can't even find the laces. I was going to put them back in because they were falling apart. But now I can't even find them. So now they're pretty much in just my... I don't throw away my cleats. I just save them for like memories to remember. Oh my god, yo, I remember when I scored in this, with, in this pair of cleats. And this is pretty much what they look like after nine months. They pretty much got me... They, they did pretty well for me. I'm really happy with them. I remember when I first got them because one of my friends had them on my team. And I decided, you know, I'm just going to try these out, see what they're like. I never thought I would like low cuts, which are the vapors. I used to stick with all superflies, but I was like, you know what? I don't like the way the new superflies look, so I was like, screw it. I'm just going to go with vapors. And I've been sticking with vapors ever since probably October, November, I think, of last year. And now I'm still on vapors, so yeah. That's enough of this intro. Uh, Roll the actual intro. Uh -huh. Okay guys, so now I'm going to be talking about the newer cleats that I just received. I got these on Soccer.com and I got them actually on discount because, or on sale, even though they're the brand new ones that just released, because I have the Soccer Zone thing or whatever it's called, Gold, Gold Club on Soccer.com. It's like where you just pay $10 like for one thing and you get like, you get like a bunch of discounts on everything you buy from there. And yeah, uh, you know, I'm just going to show you guys what they look like right now. Okay guys, so here's what they look like from the previous clip. One of my favorite parts about this shoe was the chrome aesthetic of the sole plate. It actually says it on here that the visual aesthetic on the bottom of the shoe will wear off during play but will not affect the performance of this product. I never really had a pair that had this like kind of sort of look where it's like chrome on the bottom and it looks like so shiny and sparkly. And I don't know what it was about these cleats but... I just decided to get them again, just in the updated version. Before they started updating all their cleats, I was going to get the old Neymars, the ones in gray and s the silver and blue. But I was like, you know what? There's no point in buying that off like a website I don't even know of. It's called Go. I don't know if Go's a trusted website, but if it is, just let me know in the comment section down below. Because I was going to buy a pair of cleats from there because they have like... They literally have every shoe that you could ever want. But I was like, you know what, I've never been on the website, I don't really trust it that much. I trust Saga.com and I can get the shoes for cheap. So, yeah, um, after having a pair for a year, they're, they, they're kind of hard to get, like, used to. You gotta really, you really gotta kind of break them in. I didn't break my first Vapors in until maybe a month afterwards. But I, as they updated cleats, I think they're gonna be easier to break in and they're gonna break in a lot sooner. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear these at home because I really don't want to get these all, like, you know, you know when you get a new pair of cleats, you don't want to get them dirty. I'm probably gonna wait to save these till either states or I'm gonna wear them for Copa season. Because on when I play for Copa, we literally play only on turf, pretty much. All of our practices are on turf. Most of our games are on turf, but we have some tournaments that are. Most of our tournaments are all turf, are all grass. So I'm really gonna save these just for turf games, and once they get like all broken in, like not nice anymore, I'm probably gonna start wearing them on grass. But as as so then I'm be wearing my Neymars if you, as you guys have seen from the previous video. I'm going to leave a little bar up here so you guys can check out that video if you want to check it out. And I'm not really doing reviews where I buy the cleat and then like give it right back. I'm not sure when I'm going to be playing in these but th I can give you a good review on these just because of how I played with the 12s. And the 12s and the 11s are pretty much the exact same pair just in a different colorway and maybe a little bit of different texture. These ones feel like kind of like they feel really stitched together. You can feel it's not like Plasticky. These do not feel plasticky at all, I would say. Because it feels like, it's like, it just feels like really well stitched together. If you ever buy a pair, you'll notice that like you feel like every little seam, every little piece of it. It's not like, this pair where you could literally see it's like all plasticky and whatever. 
Like these are the elevens, these lasted me a long time and until that happened and until everything else about the shoe happened, but I think the big difference between the elevens and the thirteens is basically just how they're stitched. And I'm not really sure that I feel like they update the cleats, but they don't really like update them that much. They say like, oh, it's like we did some new we found some new fantastic way of creating the cleat, but like is it really gonna make you that much better? My from my experience playing with Nike cleats, my Nike cleats last me around six to nine months, and when I buy Adidas, they last for around like twelve months. But I personally don't like Adidas cleats just because of how I play in them. I don't know if it's something about them or if it's just whatever. But everyone has their own style. As an attacker, I play left mid, left wing, whatever you call it. I pretty much use Mercurials just because I take a lot of dribbles and I pass the ball a lot and I try to score as much as I can. As of right now, I have six goals in ten games, and that's pretty good for me considering I'm a midfielder. And I've been playing with the uh, Nike Mercurial Vapors for a while now, and they, they're they just my kind of boot. I can't imagine switching boots anytime soon. I was thinking about switching to get the the Phantom Venoms or something like that. I don't know. They're, they're like something like that. Or Phantom Vision. But I was like, you know what? I'm just going to keep sticking with my trusted old Vapors because they've, they haven't let me down. As m they didn't even let me down that much, and I just feel like this is this is just the boot that was made for me. This is my kind of style. They're easy to slide on. You just like stretch them out, slide on, and then tie your shoe. Other cleats, it's like kind of, you have to you may have to use like a shoehorn or whatever. But this is the, the cleat that I prefer to use. And the sole plate has seven studs at the top and then four on the bottom. Some cleats have different amount of studs, like the Phantom Visions. And I'm not really sure how much of a difference it makes you play, but me personally, I just like this pair a lot because I feel like I get a good, like, I have good agility with these. This is just this cleat that I've been wearing for a while now. Um, I've scored a quite amount, of, quite a good amount of goals with these cleats. Uh, one problem that I find like with these cleats is you get kicked in your ankles a lot, and there's really no protection. With the Superflies, you actually kind of have a little bit more of a sock protection. These have like a really low cut sock, so you don't really get much protection out of that. But overall, the cleats are pretty good. Uh, I'll try and make an updated, maybe like one month, three month review on these after I've had them and played in them for a while. As you guys can see, this is just the cleats they are. This is what they look like. And they have no like connected sole plate. It's two different sole plates like separated. And one thing I found about the upper what my friend told me is that it's a lot smoother. So if I take out the shoehorn, it's like really soft and like bendable compared to like the old past ones. Like the old, the other ones I just showed you the 11s, you have to really stretch them out. They took longer to like break in because of how they were more plasticky and whatever. These ones feel more like leathery stitched. I noticed you guys like the soccer videos more and the vlogs more, so I'm going to try to make more videos on those. Uh, with my friends and just whatever you guys like let me know in the comment section down below Let me know if you if you want me to make more videos about soccer cleats and if companies want to send me cleats go ahead I know that's not gonna happen, but if you do please let me know that'd be amazing because that would just be a fantastic opportunity for me So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you. Peace. Roll the outro